Nuendo 10 got some more great workflow improvements. The first one is called QSheet Export. It lets you export all crucial information about your session to a CSV or text file. In this case, I want to export only the information about the music, so I select all the music tracks and additionally the video and market tracks. To perform a QSheet export, go to File, Export, QSheet. In the QSheet export panel, you can select all the video and audio tracks for which you want to export the QSheet information. You can do a more specific export by selecting to export only the information between the locators. The QSheet can be saved as a CSV or text file. For the time format, I choose hours, minutes, seconds, frames. In the bottom right, you can select which information should be included in the QSheet export. To perform a QSheet export, click on OK and enter a name. And here's the QSheet export CSV file. It contains all the crucial information about the track, the sample rate, bit depth, used plugins, and all the information split by tracks with timecode, start, end, in and out times for any audio event. Plus a whole markers list and the used video files. The next great addition that comes with the 10.2 update is the split channel function. It allows you to split multi-channel audio events into mono files for each channel. In this first example, I want to split this five-channel production sound recording. It contains the channels Mix Left Right, Boom and two ambience tracks. To open the Split Channels panel, go to Audio, Split Channels. Here you can see the file name and the number of channels. The track info shows the name of the single channels, if available in the file's metadata. The name format drop-down menu provides several options for adding a suffix to the channel names. In the next step, you can choose if you want to extract all the channels of the file or only a single channel. If available in the file's metadata, you can see the channel names here. In the last step, you can choose if you want to extract the channel to the pool only or if you want to put them on lanes of the audio track. If only extracted to the pool, the multi-channel file stays where it is. If you choose to put the extracted channels on lanes, the multi-channel file is replaced. Of course, you still can find it in the pool. In this example, I only want to extract the boom channel. So I click on OK and there it is. And as you can see here in the info line, the channel name boom was added to the file name. In the next example, I only want to extract the center channel from a 5.1 mix. Let's have a listen. In this file, there are no channel names in the file's metadata. So I choose to do simple numbering for the suffix in the file name. Since no track info was provided, there are no channel names but numbers in the drop-down menu. The channel order of this file is SEMPTY, so it's left, right, center, LFE, left surround, right surround. So to extract the center channel, I select channel 3. And here we go! From this event, I want to extract all channels onto lanes of the track. By unfolding the track's lanes, you can see all the extracted channels. And in this last example, I want to extract all the five channels of this 5.0 ambience track to the pool only. So I open the split channels panel and choose to add the extracted channels to the pool only. I open the pool and here are all the single channels from the ambience file. The next additions I'm going to show may seem minor compared to the previous features of this video. But in regards to overview and workflow, they are pretty neat. You can find them in the preferences. I first go to Event Display. Here you have two new sliders, one for grid overlay intensity and one for event handling opacity. Let's have a look what they can do. The grid overlay intensity lets you control how much of the grid should be visible through events. The event handling opacity controls the opacity while dragging an event.
in the audio section in Event Display, you'll find three more faders. The first one lets you control the waveform brightness. The second fader lets you control the intensity of the waveform outline. The fader on the bottom, my personal favorite, lets you control the fade handle brightness. So now you have perfect control to adjust event display to your personal needs. This was Q-Sheet export, split channels and event handling optimizations. I'm Zaro Zahihi from Soundbits. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to subscribe to the Nuendo channel.